Hello again. Once again I'm going to show you in Visual Basic the easiest way to make a DLL file. You can create the DLL file in Visual Basic 2008 and edit it with Resource Hacker. Go to File, New Project, Windows Form Application. Name whatever you'd like and click OK. It would then take you to the form.vb design. What you want to do is go into Solution, Explorer, right click form.vb and hit delete. Pop up this message and hit OK. Go to Project, Add New Item. Select Class, hit Add. In the class, you're going to want to add some key items. So you go to Project, Add Reference. You want to hit COM, or my bad, .NET, and you want to go to System, dot service process hit OK now of course you want to include or of course you want to import the system dot service process that you've just added now you really physically don't need to type anything in hit the save all save you then want to go to your directory that you've saved your program go to file the new the file that was created object debug temp pe then you have this DLL file that is right here. Now that's a DLL file you want to copy and paste it to your desktop. At this time you can name it whatever you'd like. For right now I'm going to name mine my.dll. Go to resource hacker, type file, open, select your DLL. As you'll notice, you already have a version info. This was created by VB Express. You do not necessarily need to edit this. You can leave it as is. Or you can put whatever you'd want in here to specify what your DLL file is. So for a file description, I'm going to write my first DLL. For the name, I'm going to write my first DLL. I'm going to hit Compile Script. Now, if you want to go ahead and add some objects, such as an icon, you'd go to Add New Reference. I'm going to select an icon that I have saved. As a resource name, you could type whatever you'd like. For now, I'm just going to type one. Resource language, um, you can put what you'd like, but it's going to end up renaming it to zero, like it did here. There you have your DLL, or your DLL with your icons inside. Here's all the icons specifically. I'm not going to show you them all. Go to File, Save As. Select your DLL, original, your original DLL. And it'll ask you if you want to replace it. You'd hit Yes. Now let's say you want to change an icon. DLLs are nice because they can pack all your icons that you may use over and over and over again. 
this is great if you can save it if you redo your computer or if you reinstall Windows you can always use that same icon let's say I want to change uh, this folder icon right click properties customize change icon browse the location where you saved your DLL select the icon that you'd like to use for this folder and hit OK after that you be back to this screen and then you hit apply OK as you notice with this right here the icon that was in the DLL file is now in your folder as your folder icon hope you enjoyed